When the pubs close, the drinking clubs open. One of the oldest, the colony, was founded by a legendary lady called Muriel Belcher. When she died, the throne by the bar was inherited by her protege, Ian Board. Hello, chaps and chapesses. Sign your lovely members in, a guest in, dear. Um, I, 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 I think it is the oldest one. The Gog, the Gog all over the road, of course. Uh, was about the same period of time, yeah. But then, of course, it's now finished and it's a, I don't know, a tit show, a cabaret show, or one of those yes. sort of things. I haven't spoken to him since it's off. No, he's incognito. Yeah. He's gone off to Cornwall. Yeah. Go together. Yeah, so the sun says to me. I'm glad to get him off me back and to tell you the truth. I was a bit disappointed. Muriel started it in 1948 and I met her about 46 or 7 and when she started it she I was working as a comedy waiter at the Jardin de Gourmet which was then the smartest most sophisticated restaurant, theatrical restaurant in the West End. Yes. She used to go there a tremendous amount with some of the richest and most famous successful people. There was a tingling of the theatrical um, amount of people. A lot of homosexuals, as they were known in those days, because the word gay was not quite known. Quite a lot of those about. So the police one day tapped me on the shoulder and said, too many, oh, my broken shoulder, must be careful. Um, uh, too many of those in here. I uh, have to sort of sort it out a bit. And she had that marvellous magic. She was an extraordinary woman. Do you miss her? Desperately. I dream of her constantly. Almost every, almost every day I dream of her. I think she's always in this room with me. As far as I can gather, the word Soho actually came from when they used to hunt here, uh, when it was wide open country, and yikes, tally-ho, Soho. People are still hunting in Soho. Oh, they hunt for anything, yes. <laughs> well, of course, it isn't what it used to be, but it never, ever was what it was, really.